Hi, this is Marlena. Thank you for tuning in with me today. You will see um, underneath the video here the new website, um, the audibleangels.com. I'd like you to go sign up there and start receiving our uh, weekly newsletters and our invites for our live calls on Saturday mornings at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We will be changing the times um, in November and beyond, but uh, for the time being, um, we are going to have a weekly call um, every Saturday. So you are invited, you and your family members and friends, um, share these videos and the beautiful energy with all those that you care about. Today, I am going to uh, speak with you for a few minutes about your home, your space in your house, the energy of your house, um, and the energy of you and your connection with the space that you are now living in. We want to ask you if you are actually compatible with that space. So we are going to be talking about that live this Saturday morning. You're going to want to be on that call. So go to the website, theaudibleangels.com. Type it in exactly as you see on the screen. If the link is not underneath this video, which it should be, um, but the energy uh, has been a little strange in October with the Mercury retrograde, among other things going on in the energetics. Um, so actually I am a home whisperer and I am going to be talking about your houseology. You have heard about your astrology, the stars, the planets. Okay. Your house also has a birth day. Okay. And it has an energy frequency to it. Um, and if your vibrational match with that home and that space is aligned, then you will flourish there. And if it is off, then you will have negative experiences. And it could be in your finances, it could be in your health, it could be in your relationships. And um, we want to remedy that for you, bringing forth a solution so it's all about the energy and the vibration. So when the energy of your body and your home match, your experiences are going to be positive. All right. Say you move into a home and you would love to have a great relationship. You may be single or um, you may be in a relationship. That house, okay? has a purpose. It has a facing, um, the direction where it faces, all right? The direction for you must be aligned with that. And um, that's really important. It's interesting. I studied a, a deeper way of feng shui for several years, and I became a pretty good expert on the houseology, and it all stemmed from my upbringing because, you know, when we were children, um, my mother was fascinated with haunted houses, and she'd always drive by one and say she'd like to sleep in there. We're like, no, I don't think so. Um, and then we would have some rather bizarre experiences in one of the houses we were in, and then when I grew up and got married, um, my ex wanted to buy this one home. And I said, I don't like that house. So see, the energy of that house, I didn't know. But my, you know, energy knew it. That is not good for you. All right. And I wasn't in my control then. And, of course, he had the upper hand in the finances at that point. Point, and he made that decision to purchase that home. Later, I found out 
um, <laughs> the negative um, effects of living on Indian burial land, uh, which you can imagine. Um, so, lo and behold, uh, thank you. I am free from that energy of that space, and I'm in a more balanced uh, palace right now and um, upgrading all the time. So what we want to do is raise our vibration. We want to shift the vibration in the space that we're in at this moment. Uh, it may not be possible for you to up and move right now, but it is possible to um, shift the energy to a more positive balance for you until you are and making a change in your home can definitely change the experiences that you've been having in your life so I want to share that with you um, as much as possible on the live call and then also I put together an amazing package for you to take my course uh, that is now available on the Audible Angels website under the special offers page scroll down to the bottom and you'll find it there you can read it through carefully for yourself what is included there um, for today, um, I want you to look around your space, okay, and see if there's anything that um, is sad, all right? So if there's a sad picture um, of a, you know, loved one that has passed away, if it makes you sad when you look at it, it brings a sad energy to that area of the house. Um, so, for the most part, it's a good thing to put it away, all right? If there are cracks in the walls, you want to remedy those. Um, leaks, you want to fix the leaks. You know, do the things you can right now at this point um, until the live call Saturday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, you want to be on the list so that you receive my weekly newsletters. And then also, I do send out some free gifts um, at least once a week for everyone so that you can enjoy something, you know, exciting coming to you for free in your life. Make sure that you uh, raise your vibration every day, smile every day, get out in nature as much as possible, get some fresh oxygen, get out of your space, you know. Let the sun shine in, you know, move uh, little things around, uh, clean things, you know, <clears throat> spruce it up, <clears throat> raising up your vibration by taking a walk and then bringing that fresh energy and perspective back into your space. So you're, you know, letting the sun shine in, but when you go out for a walk, you're raising your vibration, believe it or not. And then you come back in and you have a higher vibration as you enter into your space. Opening a window or two when you can is always good. Letting some fresh chi in, that's fresh air, you know, feng shui um, language for you. We want you to um, <clears throat> be able to have the energy that you need, okay, <clears throat> for whatever it is you are engaged in in your life. If you're feeling sad and depleted, you need to get on the earth. So standing on the grass, all right, taking a walk on the grass, uh, putting your hands in the garden soil is always good. You know, um, engaging with other people, all right, even if it's talking with your neighbor, okay? You need to have conversation with people, all right? Hugs are okay as well, I want you to know, all right? It's okay to hug somebody, all right? Even though they're saying it's not, it is okay to love one another, all right? And share with each other. We need to do that, 
um, we want to know how um, each of us, okay, our body, all right, how is your body responding to that home that you're in, all right, are you feeling sick, tired, exhausted, are you having aches and pains and a sudden illness, we want to know about this, we are going to bring a remedy to that rather quickly, um, that is part of this entire program as well, all right, I know that uh, for two years we've been dealing with this virus and other things going on on the entire planet. And it brought up a lot of fear, a lot of stress, right, and confusion, all right. And it, it has caused us all to spend more time in our home, okay, rather it's an apartment, a home, um, a boat. Some people live on a boat. You could live in a trailer, a camper. Some people have actually been living in their vehicles, all right? And they're some of my clients, and they have, after working with me, within two weeks, they are in an apartment, all right? And they're moving on up. So um, this is why it's so important to me to have a space um, where we have some room to grow and we have a energy that you know, flows with our energy, where we are aligned with the energy. If you want to have a business in your house, is that house the right one for you? If you're going to move, if you're going to buy, if you're going to sell, you know, um, what are some of the things you can do to cause that house to sell when it's been on the market, all right, for seven years? I've had a real estate agent a couple months back contact me and tell me that she had a million dollar home and her husband said he would get back with her um, if she sold that home. All right. <clears throat> there was something he didn't like about that house. So he moved out and bought another home and uh, they separated, right? Because she was, you know, attached to that house. And um, as they were talking, you know, he decided, you know, uh, if you sell that house, then, you know, uh, move here with me and we'll get back together. Well, she had it on the market for seven years. Okay. And I, you know, did a session with her and within a week, the house was sold. Believe it. It's true. All right. <laughs> so I'm telling you a couple of changes in your environment sometimes can shift your life forever, okay? Sometimes it takes a little longer um, depending on what is going on inside of you as well, right? So we want to uh, allow you to understand what is really going on in you and your space is that address, okay? compatible with what you have in mind for your life's goal. That's another thing, okay? So this is deep. This is serious stuff. It's really amazing to me how the energy in every home and every building is actually aligned, okay, with feng shui. And uh, feng shui is probably not something that um, everybody talks about every day they talk about negative energy and raising the vibration and clearing their space and you know how they got blocks and all that stuff and if we could actually dive into uh, underneath what the blocks are and use a, a, a tool here that was gifted to us years and years and years ago um, by the intelligent people, um, Chinese uh, folks, that know about the chi in a space, the chi um, of the land, all right? And um, we want to remedy whatever's going on in your life. So um, 
you're going to discover how each area of your home holds its own personal energy signature with a purpose, all right? Your house has a purpose, <laughs> believe it or not. Um, discover how your body will react to a certain home and why, all right? Are you living in the right space for what you'd really love to experience in your life, right? And if not, what can you do about that, all right? You're going to receive a variety of home and body charts, which will help you become more aware of your own personal um, compatibility status. All right. Uh, you're going to learn how to balance and cleanse you, your family, your pets, your belongings, your space without breaking the bank. Uh, you're going to learn what items to get rid of immediately, which cause your life to fail. Discover when and how to use a new easy and simple strategy for what lies ahead. You're going to stay on top of things um, according to the monthly charts, okay? Because each and every month the energy shifts and the directions shift for the positive um, energy, all right, and the negative energies. And they play out in our entire lives. All right, when COVID hit, um, <clears throat> the energy of the sickness star, all right, hit everybody's home, all right, in the east. Think about that, all right? Where did COVID come from? The east, okay? So this is why it's really important. And then in the center of every home and every building, the energy was robbery, okay? And if you think about it, we've all been robbed, all right, of our freedom, all right, of our peace with COVID, right? Yeah. So we want to know where these stars are, what they mean, where they're going next. So we know what to do. We know what to expect. Very important stuff, all right? So, um, I want you to sign up uh, right now at audibleangels.com. Make sure you put the dash in between the audible and angels so you get to the website. Sign up there, your name and email address. You'll get on the list. You can come and join me on the live calls on Saturday morning at 11 a.m. All right, Eastern Standard Time, 8 a.m. in California. All right, um, that's just off the top of my head. All right, uh, adjust your time zones. We have um, phone numbers for everyone to call in on the international list you'll get. Um, look for your phone number and use the code. You can also join on the online link and listen and talk directly through your uh, device, computer, um, and... The only thing with the listening um, on the computer is you'll have to download the web version. And it's quick. It's like two minutes. So you can be on that call. And then the week after this, um, October 30th, I'm going to have my good friend Gary Pincus on. He is an um, energy healer. He specializes in clearing negative energy and entities. So I am lining up these calls so that they um, support uh, week after week. The energy of each call supports the other one. It's amazing. But if you want to check out the package I put together for the uh, Home Whisperer, which I am, um, and you're going to become one if you take this course, it's right under the special offer page. You can go there, scroll down, check it out, grab it, and begin using it today if your energy's off in your home, all right? We also have MP3s in that package where it will clear your house, every area of your house. It clears out uh, negative energy and entities as well. For those of you dealing with that sort of thing, I know I was, and it's not a fun day okay um 
So I put this together for everyone out there. Please share it with people if there are uh, loved ones in your life which you are, you know, concerned about. Um, they might be ill right now. They might not be feeling well. Uh, they might be suffering financially or their relationships are breaking down. This is an awesome um, video to send them. Okay. Uh, it has everything they're going to need to support them in this time that we're in right now and the time to come. So thank you so much for joining me here. Subscribe to this amazing YouTube channel. And also I do have the Audible Angels YouTube channel up and running now along with the website. So uh, thank you so much for joining me here for the um, last uh, 19 minutes. I really appreciate you and have an awesome day. I know you will because you're amazing and an awesome being and your vibration is raising up right now. Your entire space is filling up with joy right now. Receive that. Thank you. And so it is. I'll see you soon and hope to be speaking with you directly on the live calls on Saturday. Namaste.